M0FXP Digital Ham Radio Diary. Welcome. I will say, just re read the manual first. You do need to re read the manual so you don't make any mistakes or get anything wrong. M0FXP, let's have a go at upgrading though, uploading the firmware on my HRI 200. Now, I'm winging it a bit here. There's noise in the background, but we're going to give it a go. So I've took the lid off. It's basically the front top screws and the four back screws, and it just lifts off. Uh, so let's just do what it says. I've got the files here on the right. Oh, the link is here on the Yesu site for you. So let's just scroll down and just do what it says. So using the programmer. So now there's one here for the driver. I've already done it. You, this one here, you double click it. So I've done that one for the driver. And let's go to the installation of the driver. We've done that. Should we double click it so you can see that? Yes. We'll double click. Let that run. Installing Renesis USB development tool. Okay. Done that. Now we're going to run. See what it does. So double click. Yes. Firmware update. Comport. Now we did click install driver. We did that. So let's go back to the instructions. Like so. Um, we haven't connected the cable yet. Click the install button. Would you like to install this device software? Yes, we've done that. Wait for the installation to complete. We've done that. Accept the terms. Yeah, we've done that. Switch the device you want to, pro to update to program writing mode. So there's a switch here, so we'll just flick that across. After switching, connect the device to your computer. So we've got the USB cable at the back. That's in now. Okay, done that. Now we, yeah, there's how you take the lid off. Two screws at the front, and then all four screws at the back. Flick the switch to the right. We've done that when the when the back end or the USB end is facing away from you. We've done that. Now it wants me to do this. Generic boot USB direct. Uh, click the next. I'm just going to trust that the USB's already got the right one. Driver update. Update. I don't really want to update driver unless I have to. Browse my computer for software. No, I'm going to try and skip past that. Generic boot. I'm going to try and do Yesu firmware update. Uh, disconnect. So do we have a... Disconnect the cable. Remove the screw of the back body, yeah. Disconnect the cable. Flip the program to program. Connect the HR to our... Uh, connect the PC and HR to with a USB cable. Yeah, done that. Okay. And it finds the firmware. We click OK. It's updating. Ooh. Firmware update complete. I click OK. And I think that's it. What does it tell me to do after that? So keep going down there. That's the bit I just did. You saw. Firmware update. OK. All right. When the screen is away, check the power cable. Disconnect the USB cable. You can do that. And put the screws back in. Move the PROM switch back. Done that. Put your screws in. All right, fingers crossed it's all done. And I'll let you know if it's, uh, if it's changed the uh, edition or the firmware number. Bye for now. Right. So we're back and we're going to boot wires X up. So go like this, wires. It seems to be booting fine. Once we get that on screen, 
There you go. I know the transceiver's not connected. Then we go to help, about. Have the numbers changed? I don't know. IF box firmware 1.0120 is what it now says. So hopefully that is the latest one. Bye for now. Cheers.